Einen wunderschönen guten Abend vom Chateau de Colombe hier in saint Modell in Frankreich. Und äh, Küchenrenovierung geht weiter. <lacht> und zwar tous, wir waren nur ein de Chateau de Colombe in saint Modell. Ja, und kommen wir uh, la Renovation de la Cuisine. Oui. Uh, and now Jane, speaking French from the world. Hey, hello. Oh, good Lord, what's wrong with me? <lacht> hey, hello. <lacht> It was a long day. <laughs> it was. It's been. A, it's actually been a long several days. Yes, but uh, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. <laughs> yes, and finally, this is the episode that is about our kitchen sink oh, and the yes. kitchen cabinet that I built. Yes. Um, it looks great. I'm staring at it. This is. <laughs> And can I just say that we could not have done this without Tony? Uh, uh, no, not the install of the... And Jane, actually. Tony and Jane both, yes. It was... Yeah, the install of the sink would have been much worse nice without them here to help us. And, it, and I, uh, Jane really, she's like a master of puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Really, I mean, so with having three sinks underneath and so... <laughs> it was... Really quite remarkable, and uh, she did such a fantastic job. It was great. And then Tony did said, "Okay, let me do the plumbing. I, I, I can do it." And he did it. It's it, first time around. There was no leakage, nothing. I nothing mean, at it's, all. It's just a genius. We love you. Um, so we have the cabinet in that Stuart built, and it fit perfectly. And the sink is in. The faucet is on. Um, and Stuart doesn't particularly care about the faucet, or for the one I really wanted, and it's very much industrial, could be in a restaurant, so right. um, it's, I like it because it's practical. It is, it is a practical choice. I didn't want to have anything here cute and flimsy and maybe in copper or brass, so I just said, no, let's just do it practical. <laughs> so, in any case, have a look, right? Right. So I'm here today in the workshop in our carriage house, and I'm going to start working on building the cabinet for our kitchen sink. Uh, some of you may remember what some of this is. Uh, when we did our renovation of the Jeet, there was a built-in closet that had existed in the bedroom of the Jeet, and it was in pretty bad shape and falling down, and so we went ahead and re-removed re it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse a lot of these pieces in order to build the cabinet and then plus some other scraps of laundry that we have from other crates and things that we've disassembled. So uh, basically it's not going to cost us hardly anything at all except for whatever wood that I get that I'm going to use to actually do the doors, we will actually purchase a, a nicer wood in order to finish it off on the front with the doors. So I'm going to start taking these pieces and I'm going to start getting to work.
So that's the cabinet now basically completed. I can switch to the other wood and start building the cabinet doors. So once the cabinet and the doors were all finished, uh, it was ready to install. However, we had some plumbing issues that needed to be resolved first. Well, you know, it, the plumbing worked just fine, but... Well, right, <laughs> for the sink that was here. <laughs> right, and so, but if we wanted to, to work on, for example, the dishwasher, we had to shut off the water for the t entire chateau because right. there is a shut off valve that is so... I don't know, it's just, <laughs> you can't turn it, it's just stuck. So right. Tony said, oh, that doesn't work. So he um, put in a shutter valve for hot water, cold water, and the dishwasher. Right, because it is, I mean, it is important that everywhere where you have, uh, especially in bathrooms and kitchens, wherever you have plumbing, uh, you need some sort of a shutoff that is right there at that location. Well, let's just say it helps. Yes. <laughs> and what was happening in some places here at the Chateau is Patrick basically had to go out and shut off the main. Yes. For the for this part of the Chateau in order to do any work at all. So which, you know, that's that's not the way that things are supposed to be set up. So No. And I, I'm not I'm not I'm not good with plumbing. I just it it's not it doesn't scare me, I just it eludes me. Let right. Me and, that, that and that's something that's right up Tony's alley because, you know, that's that's all about, you know, metal work and welding oh, it, and pipes and things. And so that's stuff that Tony is, knows all about. So, it was fantastic. Yeah. And, and um, while Tony was doing certain things, um, Jane and I had some, some good conversations about the coronation of uh, King Charles. 
because we're going to spend that together with a whole bunch of other people. It's, it, that takes a lot of planning and it's only, what, three weeks away or something? Right. So uh, right. that was, that was, uh, it was great. It was just a wonderful day. And I can't believe it's actually in. Right. And so we had, it was a bit of a puzzle to figure out. And quite honestly, it sort of took all four of us to really figure out, because the instructions were nothing more than a picture diagram. <laughs> there was no written instruction with anything. It was a picture diagram and the images were like, you know, these tiny little pictures that didn't really explain anything. But can I just mention that, I mean, it's a beautiful Villar and Boch sink. Right. And it came with uh, installment measurements for drilling holes into the cabinet to actually put it, you know, to you, secure when you, it. Yes, you mount it into they the cabinet. They were the wrong, the wrong <laughs> measurements. The ones that we had shown, and we had shown those. So uh, in the previous episode where we showed the unboxing of the sink. Yes. And we showed briefly the, the, uh, the diagram that came with them. And we talked about how I know this was supposed to help me, right, to build the cabinet. And so what it turns out is, is that that wasn't even the right instructions for this sink. It was, well, it was, it was the wrong sink, but not this. It one. was the wrong dimensions for where the holes need to go in order to mount the sink to the cabinet. So, you know, internet, internet's great. You know, went online, found a different site that actually showed the correct measurements of where you're supposed to put the holes to mount. And so then it worked. But well, maybe I, I just have to say that. Uh, German manufacturing is not what it used to be. <laughs> I mean, the sink is great, yeah. but the instructions were absolutely horrid. And Will and Bosch should be very ashamed of themselves. Mm. <laughs> Sending this out with those measurements where you go figure out that this is wrong. But mm -hmm. we love the sink. It's, uh, now it's either, a, a, some people call it a large farmhouse sink or a butler's sink. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It's absolutely, I mean, the, the those, um, three uh, basins. Basins. Those, there you go. Those. There he goes. Uh, there's three basins. It's absolutely fantastic. We've used it. Um, I am in love with the sink. Uh, love the faucet. Yes. So I'm really excited. <laughs> yes. Stupid, and stupid. you digress. I do. You do. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, Tony and Jane came by to help us do the install of the sink. So have a look. Now we have uh, a new project that we're starting. Right. Uh, we still have a, uh, we still have quite a few things to do in the kitchen, but uh, we also need to get started on the small bathroom upstairs. Well, it's actually not that small, but it, <laughs> compared to the chateau, it's small. It's their smallest bathroom, and um, yeah, it's it's the bathroom for family, friends, and volunteers. If anyone right. wants to come here to help, uh, cousin Angela. My mom's cousin Froker, they're all coming. So they need uh, a, a nice bathroom. So if they, they help, hey Luna, uh, during the day, 
that they can you know take a shower and just relax and and have their own nicely furnished rooms um mm -hmm. and to wind down while i cook dinner so right so we had we had uh uh and tony uh wants to help us with that yes he, he would like to come help us with that well he takes the lead I can't a absolutely <laughs> absolutely so because again it, it's a plumbing thing so you know there's a lot of plumbing in a bathroom so uh, we had uh, we started getting supplies for that and uh, fixtures and we sort of decided what we wanted. Yes. We, we know where things are going to go. I took measurements, and so uh, this morning we went shopping. We actually went shopping to try to find you know shower, toilet, vanity, all the things that we wanted to get for this. And <laughs> what was our experience this morning? Mm. I can uh, I, I can say that one thing I miss because people often ask what do you miss about the United States and I can honestly say customer service people who actually care about now there is some absolutely exceptional customer service here in this country at some stores so For some things, we yes. let, went to uh, Le Roi Merlin this morning or as our English French friends call call it Leroy Merlin Leroy Merlin yes. In any case, so um, and that is and that is for everyone who, who oh, don't know that yes. is a, is a it's a home improvement store. It's yes. like you know Home Depot and here that's uh, right Rico Depot. It's that it's that kind of a store, right? And it's uh, they're a bit more high end and uh, yes. Yeah. So waiting for the flooring, right? So <laughs> we did know from previous visits there that they did have a flooring there that we liked, right? And so we decided, you know, since we're getting now, now we're going to go buy our purchases for the bathroom. This was the day we we're going to go ahead and order it. And I got all the measurements that we needed. We knew how much we needed of this flooring. And so we waited. And it, can I just say, it's anything from uh, PVC flooring, uh, Oh, a parquet, right? Tiles, tiles, the ceramic tiles, wood tile. I mean, everything, and everything that goes with it, right? Yeah. Glue, grouting, everything. Right, a huge department. And of course, if you want any of these things, what you need to do is the, in that department they have a desk that some that an employee is supposed to be working in order to help you with your order. Yes, yeah, so a huge department, <laughs> and one lady was working. So we thought, well, we come back. A little bit. We need a new toilet. We needed other things. So right. we we went doing the other or picking up the other things we needed. Mm -hmm. Went back and no one was working there. Yeah. So <laughs> so anyway, it was it was a little bit of a disappointing trip because uh, we know we always think that we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna find everything that we want. Right. 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 And no. you know. Eh. No, we didn't. <laughs> no. So I think we made a good start. Right, we made a good start, and of course, it means we have to go and make time to go out again. And hey, but I, I like to go out. Stu just rather stays here. So. <laughs> I got plenty to do here. <laughs> well, me, me too. Well, Sunbathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, but uh, you digress. I, I digress. <laughs> So we both digress. And uh, uh, don't forget that uh, we still have the time capsule and there is still some time left to get some stuff here. Yes. Uh, it's probably around uh, uh, April 25th, which is like a little over a week from now or so. That's uh, During that week, that's gonna be our pretty much our deadline because we're gonna need to be getting that wall closed up yes. uh, pretty soon after that. So, you know, by... Uh, May 1st, we're really wanting that to already be closed up. So Yes, and we, we have had some just remarkable events sent here. Fantastic yeah. Um, and we, we're going to write uh, some explanations of things for in multiple languages. So whoever, you know, once we are no longer here, uh, opens that up, has multiple languages. And if it's aliens, well, then I don't know. I hope they have <laughs> something. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, yeah. What do I know? So the so the address to send things that's in the description of this video. If you still want to send something, uh, we see you on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, <laughs> sorry. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe, 
recommend us to your friends. And if you want to help support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon or buy me a coffee. And we thank you for your time. And we'll see you next time. Au revoir. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.